All right, guys. It's still October 14th. We just dug this tractor and uh, disc harrow out. And now we're gonna do a video of some harrowing. Now, if you've seen this video, that means Schulte has approved it. So he's just gonna try and get into a bit of a harrowing position here. So conditions are damp, wet. Um, the sun has not been out in three days. It's been, even yesterday, it was kind of raining. He better not get stuck in those cattails. Okay, he didn't, because that was a fun time. You haven't seen that video. Here we go. I better not get stuck in those cattails. Have to wait till we get around the slough, I guess. Anyway, conditions are damp, they're wet. It's not awesome harrowing conditions, but uh, we like seeing what this thing will do in not perfect conditions. So those discs, These discs are independent, so you can lift them up out of the way if you don't want to use them and just want to use the herald. Maybe we better not go through the cattails. We'll go around the cattails. And if I wasn't supposed to say, I'm pretty sure that's what they have on their auto, other models as well. What do we got up here? Sunglasses, keys. <laughs> I guess we'll get turned around. We're gonna jump out. This is the, this straw is wet. But I am liking the job because it actually will throw dirt on top of the straw. This is coming off those blades. All right, we're gonna go hop in the truck and we'll follow around here a little more. Actually, before we do here, I'll just show you. So, perfectly good standing straw. Lots of straw here. It's quite a bit of organic matter. Remember, I have never harrowed. It's the first year I'm harrowing. And you're probably asking yourself, Mike, why are you harrowing? Harrowing. Uh, it's because I'm a little worried about too much organic matter can also cause disease and uh, cutworm. You know, just they can overwinter in it. And uh, so you can have other issues if you have too much. Also getting through it with your drills. Right here, it's pretty thick. And this stuff's wet. And then this is what it looks like after it goes over it. I'd say that's he even pops them out. So it's not like a Dagoman Pro Tail. Dagoman Pro Tail has two sets of high speed discs um, and then a big rubber roller on the back. This is just one set of waffle type discs and then the Harrow's on the back. I think he's turning around, he's going to come back. We might wait here for him. But I'm happy about incorporating some dirt in with my straw, helps uh, rot down this organic matter and also creates nutrients for your soil. So I think we're going to wait for him here.
This should better get out of the way here. See it hucking the dirt. I like it. There you go. It's gonna turn back around. It's doing a pretty good job, I would say, considering our conditions that we're working in. Well, Mike, why don't you wait for some drier conditions? No time. No time. We got too much other stuff we gotta do. Jolty's gonna want this thing back pretty quick. Also, big thanks, huge thanks to Schulte. All right, now we're gonna go jump in our truck. Woohoohoo! Oh. You know when it's picking up on my tires, the soil's a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hope that's not a, just take something out here. Downside is when you get on some steep hills, you'll see that the discs don't contour awesome. Wanted to point it out. Okay, we're gonna wait till he turns around. Went through some cattails, I was a little nervous about. So, this is uh, 60 feet, if I haven't said that already. You can see how those discs come off the ground here on those short hills. Right there, it's not turning anymore. You might zoom in on that. That is the one con. They are pretty rigid on there. There they go again. Obviously, you can adjust all your uh, tine tension. I know their wheel design is different, I do believe, on their, like, this is their prototype machine that they've been running around, so it's got a little bit of, you know, modifications to it. It's like to throw together Harrow. This would not be to the exact. But, ooh, there's a power pole. I better. I wasn't sure if he was coming out my way or not. Anyway. Yeah, it's going to make a loop around here. I guess it's probably going to be on his way. I guess we're probably going to go back the other direction by the look of it. Get set up here. Maybe we don't want to be in this cattails. Yeah, I smell slewweed. Unless you have something else you want to tell me. No. Okay. <laughs> Does not a bad job in mowed cattails. Obviously, mowed cattails are the hardest because they hang up in your harrows. Standing cattails it actually does a pretty good job. In that Especially if you hit a fight. Oh, 
Just right into the mud here. Jump out here. Wait for him to come back around. So we mowed these cattails so that way they don't uh, catch as much snow on us. We actually don't want a lot of snow catch out here, believe it or not. This is not the South Farm. Beauty. We're just... So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Or maybe more. It's been a long day. Um, we'll maybe grab a few more passes with them and we'll call it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this will be the last pass we do here, you guys. Pretty happy with the straw. Waffle discs, I call them waffle discs, I don't know what you guys call them. We were out in some pretty dry conditions prior to the rain and uh, they did not go in the ground very good. 
But now after it's rained and it's wet, I think I think they're doing a pretty good job. I don't have a lot to compare it to, but I think it's doing a pretty good job. Right here is a chunk on, chunk on, no chunk on, chunk on over here, chunk on. Look, the tires are wet. We don't do anything in ideal conditions, you guys. You should you guys should know that by now. And then when he came up over the hill, it actually picked the harrows up. I'm sure there's a setting that we're doing wrong on that because this is just the discs. And then as we come back down, you can see where the hits the pressure. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for following us around. Huge thanks to Schulte for uh, bringing us this uh, harrow that they have and letting us put a few acres on it, kind of try it out. I am no pro harrow guy um, by any means, but so far I'm pretty happy. Spreading stuff around, throwing some dirt on it. I can easily seed this. It's going to be great. Okay, guys, catch you on the flipper. Adios amigos. But we're back again. I know. I know. We're back. We're like a bad cold. You just can't shake us. So this field, this field, I'm just going to step out here. This is the lentil field or one of them that we had all the plugging problems. We actually wind rode this whole field. You can see a little bit of wind roll right there. And uh, we used that disc harrow and we went over it three times all different directions and we did not bail the wind rows we just harrowed the wind rows and I'm pretty happy So anyways, this whole field was completely windrowed. And uh, now look at it. Also the low spots that were all matted down that uh, you know we had to combine it going west. This is west. This looks freaking awesome expose some of the rocks. I guess this is the time to go rock picking. So yeah, there you go. Now you know what we did with our windrows. And uh, we put it right back into the soil for nutrients. Why, Mike, why didn't you bale the windrows? Well, I don't actually own a baler. And uh, I did offer up the windrows to a local friend and neighbor of mine, but he didn't really need the extra feed, so that's okay. We just harrowed it back onto the soil, which is awesome. 
because it's organic matter, it's nutrients, it breaks it down, and they did an awesome job. What we, what we left with those X9 combines, we could not have done anything with, uh, seeding wise. So we came in with that puppy and went over it three different times, different directions, and this is the result. So there you go. All right. Now I'm out of here. Adios, amigos.